In this video, we'll learn how to sync our subtitle events with our video. Live timing or event synchronization is when we assign start and end times to our events. This is usually one of the last steps in the captioning process. If you start your project using the automatic transcription feature, you may already have time codes assigned to your events. However, if you're manually transcribing your audio to text, then you'll need to sync your events using the timing and sync panel located in the quick tools drawer underneath the video player. Here you already have an event group with a number of events. You'll notice the start and end times for the events all start at zero. To begin syncing your events with your video, we'll start by going to the beginning of your video and selecting the first event in your event group. Next, you'll enable the timing and sync panel by clicking the toggle in the top left corner of the panel. The last thing you want to check is that you've turned off any of the lock options located underneath the video player. This will avoid any navigation conflicts. Now you can begin the sync process. The text box on the left shows the selected event, which is the event you're about to show on screen. The text box on the right will show the previous event, which is the event that is being displayed on screen. When I click play, watch the timeline at the bottom of the screen as the events begin to populate. If you click show event it will update the start time of the selected event and then continually update the end time until you either show a new event or hide the event. This means that for the majority of your time, you'll be clicking the show event button. Only when a gap exists between events will you click the hide event button. Sometimes you may make a mistake and miss the start of an event. There's no need to stop what you're doing. Simply click the Redo Last Event button. This will jump back a few seconds in the video and give you a chance to retime the selected event. We understand that clicking can sometimes be less accurate when synchronizing your events. In a future update, we'll be including shortcut keys that you can customize from the shortcut keys window under the edit menu. This process can take some practice to get right. At this point, you should have a basic understanding of how to sync your events with your video. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us using the form on our website or by emailing support at closedcaptioncreator.com. You can watch more of our videos by visiting our website at closedcaptioncreator.com.